during uh, uh, the, the practice time, J.B. Bickerstaff talked about criticism that um, seems to be creeping in about the Cavs. I just don't, I don't like, you know, the negativity that's surrounding the group, you know, as if something wrong is happening. Um, there's too many positive things that this team has accomplished to allow, you know, any negativity around our group. Like, the guys are too good of guys. They work their tails off. And, you know what I mean, like, individually, we have guys who are having career years. Uh, again, as a group, you know, like, there's seven teams with 30-plus wins. Like, we've got a lot done in a short amount of time. And building a team, you know, isn't easy. Like, you're, you've had three games completely healthy. And I think it's, you know what I mean, like, people get lost in the reality. Um, but I want our guys to just understand, like, all the things that they've done and how good a place we're in right now. And, again, we're not done getting better, and we will continue to get better. You know, I'll get better. You know, players will get better. But it's always about this, right? Nobody has started from here and then just jumped to here, right? You all do this, you know. Teams take defeats, you know, in the first round of the playoffs. They come back next year, they're better. Like, that's how this thing works. And again, Sam, uh, all what he says about, you know, learning and getting better, he, I agree with. I, there are some things late in games that you kind of scratch your head about and you hope they figure it out. But again, he, he's right. There are guys that are playing really well. Yeah, you know, and, and big picture wise, you probably look at the Cavs right now and you think, okay, they should have, what, two or three more wins? Uh, I, I think if they were living up to expectations, uh, most people would say preseason expectations, people would say they'd have two or three more wins than they do now, which is not a big difference. You know, and I, I, I know that, of course, JB's referring to probably fans on social media with the negativity and all and it, it. Look, fans are called fans for a reason. It's short for fanatic. They expect perfection out of every game during the 82 game season. And that's just not possible. Um, you know, and there are there are a couple of things that, yeah, you say, OK, they need to clean this up uh, if you're a Cavs fan. But at the same time, JB's right on point. You know, look, we're not supposed to be a finished product right now. We're not going to be a finished product right now. And, you know, you get a Donovan Mitchell and everybody uh, gets overly excited, as they should. But the reality is you still have those same core pieces in Garland and Mobley and Allen who are young. And then you add Mitchell to that. And then you have those young guys off the bench that I mentioned earlier. Okay. The, the natural progression is you need to just get into the playoffs, which this team as this core has not done. You need to do that first. Okay. And they're well on their way. They may even be on their way toward home court advantage in the first round. You know, they're not eliminated from the number four seed. So there are a lot of things to really like about this team. Are they going to undergo some growing pains? Yes. Obviously not always accepted by fans, but that's the reality of the situation is they're probably going to have some uneven spurts, just as every NBA team is having this year. Uh, and, and, you know, get in the playoffs and, 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 make progress from there yeah and again the 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 real nba season if you will begins after the all-star break that's coming up in a few weeks so it, that's that's when you start pushing towards getting toward your peak so we'll see 